Hi, welcome to homework for grade three, module one, lesson one. I try to keep my video short, so if I'm rushing it, please pause the video or go back over the parts you want to see again. Feel free to skip ahead as well. Don't forget to write your name. Do that first so you don't forget it later. And our first problem, we've got fill in the blanks to make true statements. And we've got here, you don't have to circle these, but I like to just circle my groups. And there's five in each group, I'm going to put a little five next to each one. And you don't have to do this either, but I just like to look at it. Four groups of five equals, so here we have four groups of five, one, one, two, three, four groups of five. You can count all the stars, but there's 20 stars there. And that's one, two, three, four fives, 20 stars. Or four times five, it's 20. 20, sorry, that looks like a six. <clears throat> five groups of four. Here we have one, two, three, four, five groups, four in each group. These are all fours. Fours here. Four, 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 four. Five groups are four. There's 20 circles there. Five fours. If you add them all together, that's going to be four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four. Five fours added together is going to be twenty. Five times four is twenty. And we'll move up to the bottom half of the page. Now we're adding sixes. We've got groups of six. One, two, three groups of six. These are sixes. So if we added these together, the six plus this six plus that six, you can count them all. It's going to come to 18 apples. Uh, how many groups are there? There's one, two, three groups. Three groups of six, right? Because there are groups, there's six in each group, so they're groups of six. Equals. Oops, that's not six. Should be three groups of six equals eighteen apples, and that's three times six equals eighteen apples. And we have scissors. And now we're looking at threes because each group has, these are groups of three. So our repeated addition equation, which is repeated addition is when you add the same number again and again and again. Now we're adding threes. So it's, here's the first three right here. That's that one. And we've got another three. Right, that three, that, this three here. Is that three, that three there, there's three more, this three there, and this group of three, three there. So that's all the threes. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six threes. One, one, that's uh, 18. And you can count them all one at a time uh, to find out, to add them all up. That's what the picture is there for. Six six groups of three. They're groups of three because there's three in each group. So and then there's six groups. It's 18 scissors. Or six times three. Six groups of three. Six times three. That's 18. And you'll notice here the whole point is that we've got four times five. Uh, above we had four times four times five five times four equaling the same 
and then here we have the 3 times 6 and the 6 times 3. They both equal 18. And the idea here is that it doesn't matter whether it's 3 groups of 6 or 6 groups of 3, it's still going to be 18. And we'll go on to the next page. Problem number, number 2. The picture below shows 3 groups of hot dogs. Does the picture show 3 times 3? And then, so we have to answer that first, and then we have to explain why or why not. We have to have the answer and the explanation to answer this. So we have three groups of hot dogs, and we see there's three in this group, there's three in this group, and there's three in this group. If we're going to multiply, we, that, that's repeated addition, we'd be adding, we have to be adding the same number again and again. So the groups have to be equal size. Uh, we have groups of, they're all groups of three, so the groups are all equal. So it's, and we have three groups, so it does show three times three. So we can write yes. The, you don't have to write exactly these words, but you have to say pretty much the same thing. The groups are all equal. There are three groups of three. And if you wanted, you could you could also write three plus three plus three equals nine, and you could write three times three equals nine. <clears throat> and I'll move on to three from here. Uh, number three, draw a picture to show four times two equals four times two equals eight. So I'm going to draw a picture. Uh, here we, uh, the problem above number two, we had the picture and we had to answer it. Now we just have to draw the picture of four times two equals eight. So that's four groups of two. Four groups of two equals eight. So that's, uh, I'm just going to draw circles. One, two, there's one group of two. Here's another group of two. There's another group of two. And there's another group of two. That's four groups of two. And I can even just circle these just to make sure that they really look like groups. And then our last one. Circle the pencils below to show three groups of six. So we want three groups of six. We want groups of six, and we'll hope there's 18 here, because that's that'll come out to three groups of six. Remember that first page, if we go back, three groups, right? Three groups of six, there should be 18. So we should know that there's going to be 18 of these without even counting them. We should know there should be 18, because we already practiced three times six equals 18. Uh, write a repeated addition. So we need a repeated addition and a multiplication sentence to represent the picture. So three groups of six. I'm just going to circle, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six in, one, two, three, there's six there. And then I'm going to need these down here. That can be another six. It doesn't matter exactly how you circle these as long as there's six in each group you circle. There. So there's three groups of six. Done. Did that one. Now repeated addition. It's going to be, we're adding sixes, right? So because there's six in each group, so it's going to be six. And there's three groups, so there's going to be three sixes. Six plus six plus six equals 18. There's my repeated addition uh, sentence. Then the multiplication sentence is going to be three groups of 6, so it's 3 times 6, and equals 18, and that's our product.